Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the 20 books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited. I normally don't have like 20 books checked out at once. I normally do like 15. Sometimes it's 19. I like to keep one space or two at least open in case like I'm really chomping at the bit to read something and I can just click download it. But for the sake of this video, I downloaded 20 of them. 20 that are at the top of my TBR on Kindle Limited. So let's get started. First is Sterling Heat by L.B. Dunbar. I got this one because our hero is a baker who owns a bakery. <laughs> And um, this is his romance with a woman who delivers her baby in his bakery. <laughs> so that sounds so fun. Like I need to read this right now. The Alpha Secret Twins by Kayla Wolf is next. It looks like this is a rejected mate romance, which I am a total sucker for. Our heroine and hero, like I guess found out they were faded mates and they had this grand night together, but then he rejected her. And then she ends up finding out that she's pregnant with twins or something like that. And he like tries to find her. I don't know what happens, but the rejected mate trope is there, which is like my favorite thing ever. Another like paranormal one. I'm into total paranormal mood right now. I just am. This is Rabid by Ivy Asher. Um, Jess from Honest Fiction got me hooked onto this book because she was talking about it in one of our live shows that we were on together and I was like ooh that sounds good. I don't really know what this is about all that much other than it's a dark shift of romance and like some of them become rabid or something like like not sane like wolves or something. I don't know but Jess was like talking about it and I was so interested so I, I needed to read it. One by Julie Ann is next. I have a wide range of genres, like sub romance genres, by the way, always in my Kindle Unlimited because I never just read the same thing. Um, so one by Julie Ann is my next one. This book just got a new cover and I'm obsessed with it because I had no idea that this book had disability representation. Our heroine is an amputee. And I love saying that on the cover. I am obsessed with it. And our hero is a football player. And this cat has me la cackling too. Like, I, I need this. I don't even know what it's about. Didn't know what it's about. I just downloaded it. I've never read a Julie Ann book, but it looks like I'm gonna start because that cover has completely sucked me in. I feel like whoever read this cover did a perfect job. The Things I Read About by Kelsey Humphreys is a next. This one is on my um, May TBR and it is a bodyguard romance. All you need to say is bodyguard romance and I am there. Surviving Scar by Ruby Dixon is also in my Kindle Unlimited. I have not read this yet. I know I need to. Um, there's, I think, three books, her most recent three books I have not read yet. I just haven't yet. Um, I just love her audiobooks so stinking much that part of me wants to wait till they're out on audio, but the other part of me wants to read them right now. So I just have it on my Kindle Unlimited unless the fancy, it's not fancy and to read it, you know? But this is the second book in her Ice Planet clone series. I'm not going to read this summary um but I don't know who these this romance is about like no idea because I'm like who is left because I think they're like new players new people introduced Ooh, one that I'm so excited to read is the Air Parents Rejected Mate by Casey Wells another rejected mate romance book um I know some people don't love book number two and some people skip it but like I want to at least try it and see but this is a uh, paranormal werewolf shifter fate mate romance series all about mates who get rejected and men who grovel their butts off, which I am obsessed with. So I can't wait to get this one. I was obsessed with book number one. Next, I have The Devil's Vice by Mindy Page. This is a motorcycle club book um, where Lilith saves the life of the deadliest member of the Hellfire Motorcycle Club and his appreciation quickly turns into obsession. And I love, I love an obsessed hero. I'm absolutely addicted to them. Next is Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight. I'm currently reading this one for something. <laughs> I have heard that this book is the absolute most wild book you ever read in your life. So I decided to give it a shot. And let's just say it's interesting. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> the Scattered Bones by Nicole Scarano is my next one. It's a dark fantasy romance. This cover reeled me in. Literally, I just had to read the first line where it's a quote from the book and it says, I will love you until I'm nothing but dust. And even then I will still love you. I don't need to read anything else. Here With You by Tori L. James is next. Um, I downloaded this a few months ago for TBR that I had. I picked it for a disability representation. Our heroine has anxiety and I'm pretty sure she goes on vacation to a, like a wedding and she falls for one of the guys whose family owns the wedding venue that she's at. She's a bridesmaid there and then he ends up helping her through a panic attack one of her first nights there but then she's like oh I really like you but I'm only here for a short time for the wedding blah blah blah. 
So I heard this has great anxiety representation and I'm obsessed with this cover. I love this cover artist. She's like one of my favorites ever. So I need to still read this even though I didn't like a few months ago. A Polar Expedition by Casso Shire is next. Tiffany got me onto this. She loved book number two, which is an orc romance, but I really want to start with book number one. That's what she did. And so I really want to do that. They, the author is going to be at a book signing I'm going to next year. So I do want to read as many books as possible going into a book signing movie next year, which I'm really, really, really excited about. Um, it's like a monster romance convention. So thrilled. Um, but I definitely want to read this one. I don't even know what it's about. I think our hero is like a, a polar bear shifter. Haven by Claire Kent. It's next. It's the first book in her post-apocalyptic series. I am obsessed with post-apocalyptic romances and I feel like they are so rare. So I definitely need to read this Claire Kent series. I know Rachel loves it. I know Christy loves it. They love this series. I need to get into it. I've heard nothing but amazing things from them and I think it's going to be great. And they're like shorter in length. So I, I need to read it. I love novellas. I already love uh, Claire Kent's other books. I love post-apocalyptic romances. I feel like it's just a recipe for a perfect book for me. Ruling Sick Thand by Victoria Abilene is next. It's the latest book in her Clickanian Alien Romance series. Um, I've had this one for a while. <laughs> um, it's just so long for me. It's 482 pages, which I know isn't that long, but I like listening to books that are longer than 300 pages. I, I prefer it. I want to read this book so bad. I've seen all of her fan art, like all of her the art she's commissioned. Like, this hero looks absolutely drool worthy and I want to read about sick fan. Like I want to. So I might just need to bite the bullet. I need to put my brain away and just say, like, read the freaking book. It doesn't matter how many pages there are. I need to read it. I love this series so much and I just have a feeling this one's gonna be amazing. So please bully me. Bully me in the comments to freaking read this book. Hoarded by the Dragon by Lillian Lark is next. It's I think the only book I haven't read yet by Lillian Lark, which is a part of her Monstrous Matches series. Um, and I think a heroine is stealing from our hero who is a dragon. Um, but she's like, oh, if you don't tell the authorities, like, I'll get with you because I can tell you're in heat right now because he's a dragon shifter creature. I've only read the first chapter. I read the first chapter like months ago and then I put it down for something else, um, but I still want to read it. That's the, what I read in the first chapter is that. And I think she gets pregnant from that one happenstance. <laughs> and I do, I'm like loving these pregnancy romances. I am. The Duke and I by Stacey Reed is the second book in the Forever Yours series, which is her historical romance series. It's on Kindle Unlimited. She does have quite a few books on KU and I definitely want to read this one. I really enjoyed the book, first book in the series. The heroine is visually impaired in the first book. So I do want to read book number two. I don't know what it's about. This cover is stunning. I need to read more Stacey Reed because I feel like she's like an amazing historical romance author. I've read quite a few of her books. This next one is all because of B from Mama Needs to Read Romance. She has me wanting to read Halfling by S.C. Wendell. So badly like look at this cover number one and I don't even know what it's really about other than B loves it and um it's about like I think an orc creature and she said like the hero's really sweet and so I trust B I need to read this like immediately but it's another long freaking book it's 465 pages like what is it with all these long books <laughs> Like they're really intimidating. The Weaver and Her Orc by Serena Song is next. And this is the romance with a cursed weaver. And apparently her fate of me is with an orc. It says this has a D&D &D style journey, which is interesting. I've never played D&D, &D, but I've wanted to. And there's apparently also size difference, which I love. Next is Healer to the Ash King by Rebecca F. Kenny. Um, I've read a few Rebecca F. Kenny books. This is a part of her Dark Rulers fantasy romance series where all the fantasy romances are standalones. I've read book number four. Um, and that one is really cool because you have a heroine who has asthma and food allergies, which you don't really see a lot in fantasy romances like ever. So I definitely want to read more of her books if she's going to be including like, like representation like that. So I'm hoping that's what this is. Our heroine is a young healer with water powers who has been hired to serve in the capital during the calling of the favored, which is a competition when the king will choose a bride. I'm thinking of the selection by Kiara Cass. Oh, it says right here. This is basically the Hunger Games crossed with the selection. I love that. Okay, I'm sold. And the last one that I have is Until I Saw You by Diane Roman. This was recommended by my friend Desi Desiree. I love her. She's from Genki Reader. Um, this is a MM romance and she, I think, told me there's disability representation, if I'm not mistaken. And I didn't really read anything except for that because she told me that and I was like, oh, okay, I'm getting that now, please. That cover is also really good looking. It does say there's a trigger warning for off-page domestic abuse, so maybe that's what's going on. One of our characters is going through that, but um, when Desiree recommends me a good MM romance with disability representation, I need to read it. She's the one who recommended me Blindfall by Amanda Milo like years ago, and it's one of my favorites ever, so I definitely trust 
Desiree. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those are the 20 books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a star emoji in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.